I'm going to demonstrate the benefits of uh, relaxing your jaw as you play and staying intentionally um, fairly open. Um, however, that needs to be accompanied by very passive, um, uninvolved uh, throat and um, soft palate. So the upper part of your throat, sort of where you would say uh, ing, ing, um, needs to be very light and uninvolved. And then when you open your jaw, the voicing will uh, resonate deeply in your, in your chest cavity. Um, if the throat's involved at all, then opening the, uh, the jaw will just uh, cause the sound to become more honky. So it's a delicate balance. Uh, in other words, what I'm trying to say is that ultimately uh, this exercise is not something that you, you would use in every bit of playing, but it would inform the openness, the possibility of slightly more open sound, um, which will give you the most flexibility. So I'll start by um, demonstrating uh, a sort of a normal, considered a normal tone uh, with the normal amount of bite. Okay, now I'm going to start with much more open. And then overdo it a little bit more. consciously not to involve um, anything behind the jaw, anything in the throat. Um, but the tendency again is to do and then things become funky and then also flat. So uh, try this exercise on your own and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. And if it doesn't sound right, it's probably because you are whether you know it or not, involving uh, your throat in some active way. And uh, if you just allow it to be passive, it will uh, resonate nicely. Uh, and then the tone will be better in tune and will have a center in that large, uh, large shape. Okay, hope that helps.